Hello there, I'm Fuzzy D, and this is Fuzzy Road to Health. So today I'm uh, reporting back to you after my six-day fast, plus, uh, you know, just how how my carnivore journey has been going in the last couple of months since I uh, did my last vlog. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> All right, today is October 7th, 2024, and uh, last Saturday, uh, I finished a six-day fast. Now, originally, I was going to do a seven-day fast, but uh, along about 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, uh, I started getting um, cold, like really cold, even though it was warm in the house. Um, plus... Uh, I, I started feeling like a, just kind of a little run down and not entirely balanced. So I also felt kind of my my stomach and everything was just crying out for food. And I hadn't felt hungry in a couple of days. So um, all of those clues uh, told me that my body was telling me I needed to end the fast a day early. So I went ahead and, and did that. And... Um, you know, the, the results of the fast were pretty fascinating. Um, now, I lost, over the period of the fast, uh, I lost a little over nine pounds. I think it was like a 9.6 9 or 9.8 pounds, something like that. And um, felt really, really good. So I, I blew past the 300-pound uh, the mark, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> Sorry, we have a uh, a house guest, and he's not exactly fully trained yet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I've, I've been doing pretty well. Um, uh, so, in the last about about three, well, uh, let me uh, let me back up a little bit since. Um, Hack Your Health or KetoCon, which was uh, beginning in June of this year. Um, so I, since then, I've lost about 30-ish pounds, uh, 30, 35 pounds. Uh, I'd have to actually look at what I what I was weighing then just to double check. And I'm not sure if I recorded it because I was kind of ashamed of it, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was struggling at that point to, uh, you know, I've been struggling with a, a stall for a few months and, and then put on some, some weight on, on that trip. And uh, so when I got back, I, you know, I really was trying to figure this out. And as some of you know, because I did a video about it, um, initially I was trying to reduce my dietary fat to force my body to use more of its own. And... Now, this is a, a valid strategy, and it does work for some people. Um, you know, it was something that was discussed at uh, KetoCon. Um, so I tried it, and the, for me, it didn't work. Um, like I said, it, it seems to work for some. And uh, so, so it, it's valid for certain metabolisms. I'm not sure what makes it work on some people and not on others, but... Um, so I wound up going the opposite way. So I in, uh, went back to my normal fat level and then increased it more. So um, right now I'm doing 40 to 45 percent fat by volume, or about uh, you know 75, 80 percent of my calories are coming from fat. So uh, and that made the difference. That I'm within a couple of days of increasing my fat intake, I started losing weight again, and I've been losing it steadily since. So uh, yeah, now I've dropped below the 300 mark. So I'm I'm officially, uh, you know, about 50 pounds left to lose. Now that's assuming that I'm also able to start uh, weight training here fairly soon, because um, you know that part of some of that that uh, weight will be uh, building back the kind of muscle muscle build I used to have in my 20s. Um, now that's the goal. Uh, if I'm not able to do that, then I need to lose about another 75 pounds of fat. Uh, so I've got, you know, I've got 75 pounds of fat to lose still, 
Um, but I could be replacing some of that with muscle if I'm able to start working out. But it, it's hard to say. Now, I've got, uh, finally, my appointment with my surgeon. So it's actually in a couple of days. So today's Monday. Uh, so Wednesday morning, I've got my appointment with the surgeon. been waiting for many months for that. So um, before you ask, here in Canada, yeah, it's all paid for, but things move slow. Um, we're really short on doctors right now. It's just the way it is. So, um, yeah. Well, hopefully they're going to be able to do something about the pinched nerve in my neck and fix my hand. Um, so that was the reason I had to stop uh, weightlifting in the first place was because it was I, I was doing weightlifting and it, it brought this problem or it didn't cause the problem, but it kind of brought it out um, all of a sudden. So um, the doctor said no more weight training until we get this sorted out so that's kind of where i'm at with that now i am doing my walking um i do i usually try and do three sometimes four power walks a week uh, my power walks are like basically as fast as i can walk and not fall down <laughs> uh, to bring my heart rate up so i'm trying to hit 80 uh, percent of my heart rate and sustain it for 10 to 15 minutes um so i do that once usually once at least, usually twice during each walk. Uh, I'm doing anywhere from two to three kilometers per walk, uh, depending on the day. And um, it's been really nice being able to do my walks again after I fixed the issue with my foot. Um, if you're curious about what ha was happening there, just uh, look at my previous blog. Um, I, I kind of go over all of that, what it was and how we fixed it, that kind of thing. So, um Yeah. Uh, so, uh, stuff I've got upcoming, uh, right now, um, because of a conversation I had in the comments on one of my videos, I'm doing research on a video right now for, um, calories. So we're going to talk about calories in, calories out, um, the, the model around that, uh, the problems with it and why uh, we need to work under a different premise but uh, there's still unfortunately a lot of people out there who believe it you know and there's all this uh, epidemiological peer-reviewed research that supposedly backs it up uh, and you know people just see the title of the research and they don't see how the research is done and what's behind it and that it's actually completely flawed and and really means nothing uh, so I'm going to present real research, modern, uh, actual uh, clinical trial studies, uh, as well as uh, some reworking of older studies, uh, pulling out fresh data, that kind of thing. So I'll, uh, I'll be presenting all of that uh, in a video in the next couple of days. So uh, stay on the lookout for that. Now, I didn't get a cooking video today, you know, with the fasting and everything. Um, it was just too difficult for me to try and actually film a cooking video. So, uh, um, hopefully, I'll, I'll get a little cooking uh, filming done this week. Um, I'm thinking of doing a, a standalone uh, quick video on my carnivore gravy. I'm getting it kind of perfected and get a lot of people asking about it. So, uh, I'm going to put out a video that just shows how to do that, not how to you know, not adding it to another dish, which makes it a much longer video. So it'll just be a quick reference video. And uh, uh, shortly after that, I'm going to be doing a video on um, how to make powdered egg whites, uh, powdered egg yolks, and powdered whole eggs. So um, I'll be uh, showing you how to do that on an upcoming cooking video. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, hopefully this will all be coming in the, uh, in the next week or so. So... Uh, I uh, just want to give a shout out to a couple of people, uh, my uh, my god brother and good buddy Dwayne, you know who you are, um, he's helping me with some stuff, um, I, I don't want to really talk about it, but I've got a little project that I've been working on that he's going to be helping me out with, um, but uh, you're going to have to wait to find out what that is, but it's, it's going to be pretty cool for the community, so uh, I think you're really going to like it. Uh, so um, now I, I do have the boards and stuff I need to build my island. Um, it's just I'm having a little trouble figuring out a, a place to work on the stuff. 
there's a possible place here in town. Um, I was going to go last Tuesday, but I I wasn't feeling well. Uh, come the time of the evening, I needed to go. So I'm going to try again tomorrow. So uh, there's like a little uh, woodworking maker club here in town. And I need to go meet them like on a Tuesday evening. So I'm going to go do that and then set up a time where I can go work on my stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll have that island built here in another another week or so. By the end of the week, I'm hoping, if everything works out. So uh, my other option is uh, I've got a friend of mine that uh, lives about an hour and a half away. Um, he's got a, a shop and a, and a, uh, a jointer planer kind of thing. So uh, if I have to, I, I can go to his place and work on it. But... Um, so that's uh, kind of what I've got going on right now. Um, having a little, little extra trouble with my back and my neck. It's it's been pretty painful today, and my hand has been really bad the last few days. I've, I've been hardly able to grip and hold stuff. I keep dropping stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I'm uh, certainly glad I'm getting this appointment with the doctor because uh, you know, I'm pretty concerned about permanent nerve damage there with that pinched nerve so hopefully uh now that i'm getting in to see him i can get booked in for surgery pretty quick but uh, i'll give you guys a, a heads up on what's going on with that uh, next week so uh not uh, depending on what they decide to do um you know if they actually have to go inside the vertebra to clean out the extra bone growth uh that's gonna you know i'm gonna be kind of messed up for a while that's going to take a while to recover from uh there's another treatment that i'm going to be asking them about it's like an en- enzyme injection that uh because the density of the bone that like the in that extra bone growth that's happened inside the vertebra because it's different it's structurally different from proper bone growth um there's this enzyme that might be able to go in and dissolve the uh the bad bone and leave the good bone behind so um, I'm going to be asking about that. I don't know if it's feasible for this situation, but uh, we'll see. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. Uh, so just uh, just a, a quick recap on the weight loss stuff. So um, I'm six foot three, and my starting weight was five hundred and forty point six pounds, and. As of the last day of my fast, I was uh, sitting at 295.8, I think, um, which is, or maybe a little less, might have been 0.6. Um, actually, you know what? I'll look it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was 295.2, actually. So. Um, now I have put a couple pounds back on since I broke the fast, but that is normal because, you know, I ate, my system is, is filled with, um, you know, waste food that's in my digestive system and, and you retain a little more water so your body can, um, can process the food. So, you know, gaining a couple of pounds after a prolonged fast is perfectly normal. Uh, now, I just wanted to talk real quick for those of you who are wondering about fasting. Um, when I was posting about my fast on social media, I was getting a lot of uh, a lot of comments back. Some of them good. Some of them didn't think it was a safe thing doing it that long. And they were warning me about losing muscle mass and all this kind of stuff. And is it possible to lose muscle mass on a prolonged fast? Yeah, if you don't have much body fat. Um, that that can be pretty common, but since I've still got uh, plenty of body fat, that's nothing I need to worry about at this point with prolonged fast. So um, I've got um, uh, a video that I did on the benefits of prolonged fasting, and there's uh, links to research and stuff in there. Most of the information it comes directly from uh, from other doctors and research and whatnot. So um, if you go to uh, my uh, fuzzy road to health youtube channel so it's this one right here is uh, six prolonged fasting benefits so it's a pretty good video there's some pretty good information in there people seem to like it at the time that i put it out so uh, if you want to learn uh, more about uh, uh, about prolonged fasting and the benefits and 
you definitely uh, may want to take a look at that. So, um, I'll just give you a quick, quick glance around some of the other kind of popular videos on my channel. So, anyway, uh, for those of you with a sharp eye who've been around for a while, you, uh, you, you'll notice that I've redone my banner as well. It's a complete do-over, completely different style of banner in most ways. And uh, I, I'd like to know what you guys think of it. I can always put the old one back if uh, people f prefer that, but I kind of like this one and uh, just want to know uh, what you guys think. And uh, also wanted to uh, ask you guys if you have any ideas for um, recipes uh, that you might uh, want me to look at or, or uh, other particular subjects that you want me to do research. Um, just uh, just so you're aware, I've gotten some new research tools that have really helped me out and saved me hours. Actually, on this newest video that I'm researching, it's probably saved me a couple of days of researching and, and writing and all that kind of stuff. So some of these new tools uh, that I'm going to be using, um, they're going to help me put out a fair amount of stuff in a hurry if I want to. So... But it's going to give me more time to go in depth on on some of my lifestyle videos and whatnot. Um, some of you may have seen the uh, the song that I wrote. Kind of, uh, it, you know, AI helped me, but um, I provided the the prompts and then uh, I edited and massaged the content from there. Uh, so that's actually on the site as well. Um, actually, let me just take you back to the to the uh, site so if you look right here this this is the song that i wrote and uh i lip synced that's not me really singing <laughs> i cannot sing like that so uh i had a couple of people thought it was me even though i said in the title that it, it wasn't but uh yeah that's not me singing <laughs> but uh the, the thing about the song is pretty neat is it really captured the feelings well uh, i've actually rewritten a bit of the song and added some to it and uh, change the whole kind of the flavor of how it's sung and everything. So I'll be putting out like a, an extended cut of that song. And uh, I might actually spin this off into another channel. I mean, this channel isn't the best place to be posting this kind of stuff, I don't think. Um, oh, what do you guys think? Um, maybe let me know. But um, yeah, I'm thinking of, you know, splitting off a... Uh, a separate channel uh maybe i'll call it fuzzy did a thing or something i don't know <laughs> something silly but uh you know maybe just a way to kind of keep it separate and i've got ideas for some other songs not all of them have anything to do with carnivore but um yeah if if, if you want to get a, a kind of a feel for you know the emotional toll this journey is taking on me uh, definitely check out this song it's uh Anybody that's seen, or I shouldn't say anybody, I've been getting a lot of feedback from people that have seen it, really like it. So, um, I think it's it's pretty decent, especially for my first try at, you know, writing a big song and doing a music video from it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. And... Um, for those of you who are in my coaching group, um, that uh, you know we were we were talking about the idea of maybe doing some support zooms. So, um, still working on that. I should be doing an announcement pretty soon. And if anybody from this channel wants to join in on a kind of a, a support zoom, uh, let me know. I'm not sure if we'll join you together with the coaching group. I'd have to make sure it's okay with them and uh, go from there so but i'll i'll keep you guys posted on what i decide to do with that so uh i also wanted to point out i don't know uh, if you've noticed or not but the last few videos i've done i haven't needed to wear my glasses uh, i don't need to wear my glasses at the computer anymore i haven't had to for about three months now and that's pretty cool and i've noticed a couple other areas where um like these are progressive lenses so it used to be when I watched TV, 
um, I was watching through the very, very top, like the very top of the lens. And now I watch the TV through about the middle of the lens. So my, my eyesight's definitely getting better. And uh, I, I know I talked a bit about this the last time after I had, got my new glasses and the visit with the optometrist and stuff. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the things that heal on this diet are pretty amazing. And I also wanted to mention, I had a few little things, just little issues, nothing serious, but just little things that went away on the fast. So, um, you know, that's one of the benefits of prolonged fasting is it can stimulate a lot of healing for stubborn areas that just aren't wanting to heal properly. So if my eczema had gotten pretty bad because I'd been using too much garlic and stuff, and it almost completely healed during the six days of the fast. And it's, you know, it's still healing now that I'm finished the fast. As long as I stay away from the garlic, I should be fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I was a bad boy. Every once in a while, I just want that extra flavor for something. So, um, and, you know, I, I don't always want to cook separately for me and my, for my wife when I'm cooking, cooking for us. So... Uh, some of the dishes I'm cooking, they're they're carnivore, but you know I'm adding a couple things that some carnivores wouldn't. But you know I'm careful about it. I don't generally try and add stuff that's that's gonna mess me up. But um, you know a lot of the new recipes you see me doing on the channel are because for all for two reasons. One, I I, I started watching uh, a bunch of cooking videos and got kind of excited about some of the stuff I could do with carnivore. And I needed to increase my fat intake. So, um, you know, it was kind of a, you know, two, kill two birds with one stone kind of a thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, there are still some times where I got to make a little bit of differences between my, uh, my meal and my wife's meal. So I'm still getting that figured out and getting a feel for everything. So, um, yeah, I'm, Hopefully one day when I get enough good recipes, I can uh, finally convert her to be full carnivore. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. One day maybe, we'll hope. <laughs> so uh, I think that's going to be it for today. So uh, thanks for hanging out and uh, coming to check on my progress. And if you feel I've earned it, please take a moment to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next videos. So, we'll see you on the next one.